Hey guys, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're gonna to be tying a classic pattern with a little bit of a twist. We're gonna tie a gold rib hair's ear, but I'm gonna add some rubber legs. With rubber legs, it's one of my favorite patterns for high water because of the vibrations. So we're gonna tie it in a size 10, but you could tie it bigger and smaller as well. Let's get started. All right, so to start this off, I'm just gonna make an underbody with lead wire. So it's gonna help get it down, but it's also gonna help me with my proportions. So how I like to do this, start wrapping right at the hook point, get to the bead here, break it off, seat the bead with it, and that should give me just about the right length for my underbody. So just start the thread, secure the wire down, back through, and then we're going to tie in our tail next. So for the tail I'm using Coctillon. Um, you can use you can use the classic uh, hair's mask and just pick out the long guard fibers. You could use any sort of other hackle as well, but I like this because it's nice and mottled and stiff. So I'm going to measure the tail to be about the length of the body and then tie that in right behind the lead here. Trim it. And just bring it back and then forwards. Next, we're going to tie in the wire and I have a gold wire in a brassy size. Just bring that back. So we're going to start dubbing the body. And for the body, I just picked dubbing right out of the hair's mask from the cheek area where it's lighter and softer. And then for the Thorax, it will be um, darker and pickier dubbing from the middle of the face. So just create a little noodle. Um, and I like to keep it pretty tight. And we can pick it out later. It just helps with creating a nice, even taper. So just come all the way up, almost to the bead. and then wrap the wire through. Just nice open turns. Tie off the wire, and I like to use my bobbin here to support the hook while I helicopter the wire off. So bring your thread back to just in front of the hook point, and we're gonna tie in the flash which I'm just gonna use Flashaboo. You can use a, a vinyl Mylar flash as well. Let's just get it right up on top of the hook. Next, I'm gonna tie in the wing case. And for the wing case, I'm just gonna use pheasant tail fibers. You can use turkey as well, or you could use a synthetic. So just make sure you get it right on top of the hook shank because we're gonna be pulling it over and just keep it nice and flat and wide. So I'm gonna grab my dubbing for the thorax, and this again is hair's mask that I pulled from the middle of the mask. So you'll see it's darker and has more guard hairs mixed in. And I'm gonna dub this a little looser, a little messier. Add a little bit more. And then end with your thread right in the middle of the thorax, because this is where we're gonna tie in the legs. So for the legs, I'm using Swiss straw and a goldish color here. So I like to tie these in, is just tie it in on one side. Just go one loose wrap, and then a second move it a little bit, and then fold it over. Pinch it where I want it, and throw another loose wrap or two over. Um, check it, so I'm just gonna rotate the hook, look to make sure it's in the right place. 
take some of this off. And it is. It's right where I want it. Okay, so I'm going to take another piece of the same dubbing mixture here. Dub a thin little noodle onto my thread. And just cover up that thread band between the legs. Kind of spreads the legs as well. A little bit more. Bring it forwards without trapping down the legs. Cut the front legs. We'll cut them to length at the end. Then I'm going to pull over my wing case. Again, try to keep it as wide as flat as you can. Just a loose wrap and position it. And then take the flash and pull it over in the same way. Okay. And just trim that off. And take another little, little, little piece of dubbing here just to cover up those thread wraps right behind the bead. Pull the legs back so you don't trap them. All right. Then whip finish right behind the bead. Again, try not to trap the legs. So I like to measure the legs here and cut them. So I wanted the front legs to be about a bead's length in front of the hook eye. Um, you can always trim them long and cut them later too. And then for the legs, I like them just shorter than the tail. So measure one, and then pull the other one down. Cut that. So you can reposition the legs here too if they slip or move. And I like them just even. So to finish this fly off, I'm going to use some head cement right on the wing case. And that'll just reinforce it and add a little bit of flash, shine. That's way too much. That's fine, it'll dry clear. And that's it, that's the gold rib hair's ear with rubber legs. A great stonefly pattern. In smaller sizes it works well as a mayfly. And for me it's just a good pattern to fish in high water. Because it has the flash, the contrast, and the rubber legs that add vibration. You can get all the materials at tridentflyfishing.com. Thanks for watching guys.